My name's Nick Rawlins, I'm the director of the Otago Paleogenetics Lab in the Department of Zoology here at Otago Uni. We all know what happened to animals in the northern hemisphere like the mammoths, the mastodons, how they were affected um, by the last ice age, but we really don't know what happens with animals in the southern hemisphere. We started looking at this charismatic uh, group of shags called the blue-eyed shags. It's the same group that you have the Otago shag from Tairoa Head and uh, Sumter Wharf and Omaru, um, and really started looking at their, their ancestry. What we did is the, the first study that actually looked at the genetics um, and the history of this entire group and what we found out, quite unusually, is that this group can trace its ancestry all the way back to um, South America. Now, most or many New Zealand birds can actually trace their ancestry back um, to Australia. And so two and a half million years ago, blue-eyed shags migrated out of South America to Antarctica, around Antarctica and up into uh, New Zealand and evolved into the shags we have today. So Fovo shag down in Fovo Strait, Stewart Island, Targo shag, King shag in the Marlborough Sounds. Now, when the cold periods of the Ice Age came along, uh, sea ice extended out from Antarctica and knocked out all of the really southerly population. Whereas the ones in New Zealand were fine, they were happy in their little glacial refugia. And what we think has happened repeatedly is that as the ice retreats, you get this expansion out of South America again, ice expands, gets knocked out. And so what you have is really deep evolutionary history of this group in New Zealand and in high latitude subantarctic islands and the Antarctic Peninsula, you've got a really, really shallow evolutionary history. This research has been going on for about eight years. Because um, much as it's really easy to get penguin samples from far-flung locations like South Georgia, South Orkney, the Antarctic Peninsula, trying to get shag samples is actually really, really hard. Through collaborators all around the world, we've managed to get these samples, we've got them back to our lab, we've extracted the DNA, and really started looking at their genetic code and then using uh, that genetic code to reconstruct what their evolutionary history was like, when did populations diverge, when did they arrive um, in areas. These birds you can think of as the Darwin's finches of the southern ocean, so it allows us to look at uh, evolution in real time, how they might respond to climate change and human impacts going into the future, but even locally for our Otago shag, Dunedin and Otago's only unique bird found no, nowhere else, is that it's become even more special. So unlike a lot of New Zealand birds that trace their ancestry to Australia, ours can trace their ancestry all the way back to South America.